All right, so this is geometry section, uh, chapter two, section six, proving angles congruent. Uh, make sure your name and the class label, which is geometry, and the date is on your paper. Go ahead and include the learning objective, which is to prove and apply theorems about angles. Um, our essential understanding is you can use given information, definitions, properties, postulates, and previously proven theorems as reasons in a proof. And then I pulled this out because a theorem is a conjecture or a statement that you prove. So the difference between a theorem and all the other stuff we've been doing is that you have to prove it. So the vertical angles theorem is that vertical angles are congruent. Angle 1 is congruent to angle 3 and angle 2 is congruent to angle 4. And here is the proof. Sometimes I find it easier to go through a proof step by step than to see it, see it all at once. So vertical angles theorem. This is in your book under section 2-6. If they ever ask you for it again, please refer back to here. Angle 1 and angle 3 are vertical angles. What reasoning should we have for that information? What is always the first statement? What is always the reasoning for our Give first it. statement? Thank you very much. Given. And it is. Angle 1 and angle 3 are vertical angles. Angle 1 and 2 are supplementary, and angle 2 and 3 are supplementary. Angles that form a linear pair are supplementary. The measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 is 180 degrees. The measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 is 180 degrees. We use the fact that the sum of the measures of supplementary angles is 180. So watch this beautiful fact. We're going to add angle 1, measure of angle, sorry, we're going to add the measure of angle 2 to both sides. Oh, we're going to substitute. Thank you very much. We're going to substitute this 180 with the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3. So I'm taking this equation here, I'm taking out 180, and I'm putting in angle 1 and angle 2. Or the middleman, either one would be fine. Substitution or transitive I would take. Um, and then we can subtract the measure of angle 2 from both sides. And then we get, if the measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle 2, then we can say angle 1 is congruent to angle, I mean, sorry, 3. 3 by what? What, what was it last time that, that you guys, you're like, what? Angles with the same measure are congruent. So if, we, if you have a line segment or an angle and we have that they're equal measures, then we can say that they are congruent. I would also take definitions of congruence. All right, so a proof, the proof in, two, in problem number two is a two-column proof. We learned that in the last section. But there is another way we're going to look at proofs, and that's the paragraph proof, which is written in sentences in a paragraph. So here's the proof from problem two written in paragraph form. Angle one is congruent to angle four is given. Angle four is congruent to angle two because vertical angles are congruent. By the transitive property of congruence, angle one is congruent to angle two. Angle one is congruent to angle three because vertical angles are congruent. By the transitive properties of congruence, angle one is congruent to angle three. So we can rewrite those, each proof as a paragraph proof. I personally do not like that. If I was going to make a paragraph proof, I'd make a two-column proof first, and then make a paragraph proof to make sure I had each step. 
uh, the congruent supplements theorem says, the theorem says, if two angles are supplements of the same angle or of congruent angles, then the two angles are congruent. So if angle 1 and angle 3 are supplements, so 1 and 3, you can see they combine, they can combine together to be 180 degrees. Angle 2 and angle 3 are supplements, so 3 and 2. Then angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. So if you look at 1 and 2, they even look congruent. Alright, so we're going to write a paragraph proof of the vertical angle theorem. To talk. All right, so we're going to take the vertical angles theorem, which, if you remember, looks like this. And we are just going to make it into five different sentences. So the first sentence is going to be angle one and angle three are vertical angles because it is given. Then we're going to say angle two, angle one and angle two are supplementary. And angle 2 and angle 3 are supplementary because angles that form a linear pair are supplementary. Then we're going to say the next part of the sentence. The sum of the measures of angle 1 and angle 2 are 180. And the sum of the measures of angle 2 and angle 3 are 180. Since the sum of the measures of supplementary angles is 180. All right, so now we're on four. The sum of the measures of angle one and angle two is equal to the sum of the measures of angle two and angle three by the transitive property. The measure of angle one is equal to the measure of angle three by the subtraction property of equality. And we say angle 1 is congruent to angle 3 because angles with the same measure are congruent. So all we do is we take each of these statements and make them into a sentence. Little English skill assessment. We're going to record. All right, so let's look at a couple of theorems. If two angles are complements of the same angle, so they add up to 90, then the two angles are congruent. So this is like our supplement. We did the same thing with supplementary just a moment ago. And the next one is all right angles are congruent. If angle 1 is 90 degrees, if angle 2 is 90 degrees, then you can say those angles are congruent because they have the same measure. And last but not least, if two angles are congruent and supplementary, then each is a right angle. 